Move over Disney, SeaWorld, take notice, there's an old player in Florida putting on a new look to entertain and inform Kennedy Space Center. It's not a theme park, but it has rides and lots of things to see. Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex on Merritt Island is getting a new look, offering new rides and taking guests to places never open to the public before. Where space shuttles once dominated the landscape, now there are big tour buses driving around the once sacred grounds of the Space Center. Tourists go where no tourists have ever gone before. Kennedy Launch Control. I have people cheer up. I have people with tears in their eyes. I have people stand here and say, I can't believe that I'm actually here. I can't believe I've seen this on television. I can't believe that I'm actually standing here. Next door is the Vehicle Assembly Building, once off limits to everyone without the highest security clearance, now open to groups that stand near the last shuttle to fly and who ask questions about the Atlantis and the huge building where she now sits. You like the public coming in and seeing all the, this. This job is all about people. We love it. The public, they get to come in here and see the Atlantis just for a limited period of time. But next year, about this time next year, the Atlantis will be on display at the uh, Vista Center. It's not all about history in the huge building. An Orion space capsule that may go into orbit next year sits quietly near the entrance with a mock-up of the rocket cone that will cover it at liftoff. And there is talk of the Space Launch System, or SLS, that is being built just outside the huge building for deep space flights in the future. And for people who want to experience a liftoff, there is a ride for that too. Just hang on to your seat. The Space Center Visitors Complex is 10 miles north of Cocoa Beach. There is an admission charge and the bus tours cost extra.